In this tutorial, I'll explain a circular lamina problem. Here, a circular disc is making an angle of 30 degrees with HP and 60 degrees with VP. Or it may be in the reverse way 30 degrees with HP and 60 degrees with VP, or 60 degrees with HP and 30 degrees with VP. What are maybe the inclinations with respect to HP and VP? But uh, when the circular lamina is one diameter, that reference that reference diameter you can assume as some AB. That means in the front view it is A dash B dash. When the circular lamina is front view, that means uh, uh, the diameter in the front view is making an angle 30 degrees to HP and uh, AB that is the top view is making 60 degrees to VP means you can assume this diameter as a straight line inclined to both it's just like AB is a straight line inclined to both HP and VP and inclinations theta equal to 30 degrees and phi equal to 60 degrees we have one condition when theta plus phi equal to 90 then automatically alpha equal to 90 and beta equal to 90 the apparent angles will become 90 degrees so you have to take the help of uh, this condition to solve this problem when circular surface with the diameters di one particular diameter inclined 30 degrees to one reference plane and 60 degrees to other reference plane now assume in this problem this circular lamina's diameter AB is making 30 degrees with HP and 60 degrees with VP in this case how to solve this problem that we will see first initial step is uh, take the reference line like this this is the reference line XY this is X this is Y now I will take the inclination with respect to HP initially. When the surface is inclined to HP, according to the standard procedure, you have to keep the surface parallel to HP. When the surface is parallel to HP, you will get the true shape and size in the top view. You have to start the problem from the top view. So I will draw the top view of the circle, something like this. Okay. Next step is I will divide this circle into some eight parts. Okay, something like this. I will divide this into eight parts. Now this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. These are the sides, or you can give the numbers. That is your choice. Suppose if you want to give the numbers, I will uh, arrange the names and I will write the numbers so that it will be somewhat easy with the numbers ok this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 1 5 is my reference now 1 5 is dia that is my reference now I will project the front view somewhere here I will get 1 dash this is 2 dash 8 dash this point is 3 dash 7 dash this point is 4 dash comma 6 dash this point is 5 dash this is the front view ok this dia is some 60 now this particular surface is making 30 degrees with the HP so I will draw one 30 degree line I will reconstruct this that means this is 1 dash I will take this distance I will mark the distance here th here 2 dash and 8 dash somewhere here 3 dash 7 dash next 4 dash 6 dash end point is 5 dash now draw the projectors draw the locus lines from here here I will get 1 this point is 2 this is 4 somewhere here I will get 3 this point is 4 this point is 5 this is 6 this is 8 here I will get 7 
now i'll get the radius shape something like this this is the this is in the form of uh, an ellipse okay now <coughs> my reference is 15 this 15 is next tilting to 60 degrees but uh, when theta plus 5 equal to 90 you directly know the beta value that is 90 okay if you don't know the beta value then in that case what you have to do is you take the you draw a 60 degree line you draw a 60 degree line like this from somewhere here you take one along the 60 degree line you take the two length 15 that is nothing but 60 you can not here you maintain some distance somewhere here you take 60 line somewhere here you take one and mark the actual length that is 60 mm and from here you draw one locus line then on this particular locus line you have to take this reducing length as radius same one point as center you have to draw an arc automatically that arc will intersect somewhere here so that this angle will be 90 this this is the thing what you are getting when theta plus phi equal to 90 that means this beta value will become 90 so here if you do this also you will get something like this phi point you will get somewhere here or otherwise directly you can mark 90 degree line like this then this is that line you take this small distance mark that here draw one perpendicular you take this distance mark that here draw another perpendicular you take this distance mark here draw the perpendicular now this is 1 this is 5 on this particular line what are the points you are having 2 and 8 so this side you will get 2 other side you will get 8 next line is this on this line you are having 3 and 7 so this side you will get 3 here you will get 7 similarly on the next line you will get 4 and 6 somewhere here 4 here 6 join all these points then you have reconstructed the same figure at an angle of 90 because beta is 90 now draw the projections to the front view this is projector from 1 here this is locus line from 1 dash this point itself is 1 dash 2 4 for projector somewhere here you will get 2 dash somewhere here you will get 4 dash this is projector for 3 here you will get 3 dash this is uh, projector from 5 somewhere here you will get 5 dash this is 6 and 8 projector 6 you will get somewhere here 8 you will get somewhere here 7 projector 7 you will get somewhere here if you join all these points with a smooth curve you will get an ellipse like this this is the front view of the ellipse that means front view of the circle which will look like an ellipse in, in the angle of uh, Uh, 30 and 60 degrees with respect to HP and VP.